Hi everyone, it's Nicole here. I wasn't planning on doing another video, but I thought, what the heck. Um, I've been doing a lot of soul searching and reflecting on why I got the lap band and what got me to this stage. And yeah, I've got my, my little book here and I've got a list of things that I was just going to, you know, just get off my chest, basically. Um, get it out there in the open so, you know, not only that I feel better about myself, that, you know, maybe I could, um, maybe you know, help somebody else. So um, I just wanted to basically just discuss my inspirations and motivations behind getting the lap band. First of all, um, I've just completed postgraduate studies in general practice nursing at the University of the Sunshine Coast. So I did um, an elective there called Public Health Foundations. And that really, really opened my eyes to a lot about the health status in Australia at the moment and um, basically how you know it's more of a chronic disease focus um, in healthcare at the moment so um, there was a lot of really interesting and confronting facts about obesity presented and it's you know, it's pretty hard to deny it when it's you know it's right in front of your face there so you've got all the facts and figures and it's telling you you know you know this will happen and yeah you know, it's it's quite confronting and it really made me think about a lot of things about you know why why I'd gotten to this stage and how I'd been in denial for so long, you know, thinking that um, yeah, it was okay being this size when yeah, really it's not. Um, and there's no way I want to, you know, I, I don't want to become a statistic. Um, so uh, that was a big motivator behind me getting the lap band and, you know, taking my weight loss more seriously. Um, my brother Peter also had the lap band done. He had that done two and a half two two and a half years ago um and he's lost um close to 90 kilos now so uh, he's doing absolutely fantastically and yeah he's just been a real huge insp inspiration and motivator um to me as well he's provided me with a lot of um helpful tips and tricks so um another inspiration or, or rather motivation has been my husband wayne um I caught him in the bedroom here crying a couple of months ago and I walked in and you know what's wrong you know why are you crying and that and he just he was in tears and he turned around to me and said look I don't want to lose you you're getting bigger and bigger and I just do not want to lose you so we both ended up having a, a very serious discussion and um, I ended up crying as well and he was crying and yeah we, we just yeah we got it all out in the open and um, you know, put like a um, a plan down of what we were going to do in regards to me losing weight and that I basically needed to get serious about it. Otherwise, um, you know, my family health history is not too good. So um, down the track, sooner or later, I would have gotten something. Um, and I'll go into that a bit further later. But um, another um, motivation is that um, I want to become pregnant and I've got PCOS and endometriosis at the moment so I'm hoping that by losing weight it's going to help me to become pregnant because my husband and I we've been trying for three four years now to become pregnant with no luck um, another motivation is to eliminate um, some of my chronic um, my current chronic health issues, for example, reflux, um, the chronic back pain as well. I'm hoping that by losing weight, it'll get rid of the back pain. Um, and, um, sorry, my arm's getting a bit sore from holding the camera up. And um, I've got glucose intolerance as well too. It's not diabetes, but it's, the next step is diabetes. So it just basically means that, yeah, my blood sugars are up a bit um, with the glucose tolerance test. So, um, that's that's more of a lifestyle thing. That's something that you know diet and exercise will hopefully fix. So and that's what my doctors are hoping as well too, because um, the majority of my family have got diabetes now. Both parents are diabetic. Um, my older brother, um, he was type two diabetic, but managed to eliminate that by losing his weight. Um, my grandparents type 2 diabetes um, and my little sister as well too she was only just recently diagnosed with diabetes um, I saw how upset she got with that um, you know she was an absolute emotional wreck and didn't really you know, handle it very well when she first got the news but um, she's dealing with it a lot better now um, 
it's still, you know, it's 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 a lot for, you know, an, an 18, 19 year old to take in, but um, she's, yeah, she's dealing with it a lot better now, and it's just, it's hard not being able to, you know, be down there physically for her, you know, it's not the same um, talking on the phone and that kind of thing, like, I'd much rather sort of, um, you know, be there physically for her as well as she's going through this, so, um, basically all of my family members are either classed as overweight or obese, um, cancer, heart disease and diabetes, as I mentioned before, are pretty rife throughout my family, so, sooner or later I would have, you know, odds are I would have gotten one of those things or maybe all of them who knows so I'm hoping that by losing the weight I'm going to you know break the cycle and um, be a lot healthier from it and hopefully avoid getting those um, comorbidities so um, I wanted to discuss negative reactions too I've had a few negative reactions as I mentioned in the first video I haven't told many people about that I still haven't told many people um, I've had yeah mixed reactions some family members are really supportive and then other family members are you know have just been you know hurtful so um, what was I gonna say I've got down the list here now Oh yeah, just basically that um, the people being negative, um, I've found that they've often got their own problems and insecurities that um, they're trying to make themselves feel better by taking it out on me, basically. So, um, most, of the, yeah, most of the negative reactions have been that um, it's the easy way out. That pisses me off. Having a lap band is not the easy way out whatsoever. I mean, I could go on for hours about this, but um, yeah, it's just I've had a few people say to me, "Oh, that's just, that's the cheats way or the easy way out." You know, it just it really riles me up. And um, if anything, having a lap band requires more self control, more dedication, and hard work. Um, not to mention, you know, the pain and the regurgitation and, you know, the financial loss that, you know, we go through. It, it's definitely not easy at all. You know, there's a lot of hard work that's required in losing weight with a lap band. So, um, I think, yeah, just... Yeah, people you know, who say that the easy way out, they I think that they're really naive and that they, you know, they often, they haven't researched what they are saying before actually saying it so um, other comments I've had to have been you know you're gonna be on the grill for the rest of your life you know it, at least I can eat what I want and you know that um, oh, I'll be the only fat one now and just just some really unhelpful and downright hurtful comments so um, I really feel like telling them to piss off but <laughs> they're family and friends so um, yeah, if they're going to be negative, like, I can't change the world, I can't change the negativity. All I can really say is that, you know, I'm, I'm doing this for me, I'm doing this for my husband, I'm doing this for my future children, so that's all that really matters for me. We're all responsible for our own actions. No one force-fed me. I'm to blame wholly for um, me being this size, you know... <laughs> I'm the one that needs to get myself out of it. I can't keep on denying it any longer. And, you know, if, if I need to do it by the lap band, then I need to do it by the lap band. I have tried numerous other diets and, you know, I just do not have the willpower to be able to carry out, you know, stick it through with the diet. So, um, for too long, I've been making excuses for my weight and have been in denial and... I'm not going to lie, I've had a traumatic childhood, I was sexually, physically and emotionally abused as a youngster, and as a con consequence, you know, I did a lot of emotional eating and, you know, turned to comfort food to um, help ease some of the pain, so, um, that's not been easy for me, but, um, you know, I've got two options, I can let my past get to me. Uh, I'll let it cause damage like I did for many years, like I was pretty screwed up there a few years ago. Or or I could do what I'm doing now and that's, you know, deal with it and move on and um, make a better life for myself, you know, make a healthier life for myself. I've got to, you know, I've got to stop making excuses and, you know, get out there and, and do something good for me for a change. So, 
Um, I'm learning to do it. It's a step-by-step -step process, so it's it's definitely not easy, but I, I am getting there. So um, that's my rant over for the moment. So here's to a healthier, happier life. Um, here's to my future babies, my husband. And um, here's to taking no bullshit from anyone in the future. All right, see ya.